Hi everybody and welcome back to some more Valentino Rossi the game here on this channel. Now in today's episode we're going to be doing some more historic events. Now the ones I've already done you really enjoyed so I'm going to carry on until we complete them all. Also guys thank you for all the support on my 3000 subscriber thank you video. I really really appreciate it. Hopefully you're going to enjoy more in the future and we can keep pushing this channel forward. Now let's get straight into today's episode so here we go. Mugello è stata sempre la mia pista favorita dove ho vinto sempre un sacco di gare e, ed è stata però anche la pista che, che, che mi ha tolto di più diciamo perché nel 2010 ho, fa, ho fatto un errore nelle prove e mi sono, mi sono rotto la gamba no? il problema più grande nel 2010 è stato dopo la prima gara in Qatar perché il primo infortunio che ho avuto nel 2010 è stato con la moto da cross e mi, mi sono fatto male alla spalla è stato un, un infortunio molto grave e soprattutto dolorosissimo secondo me è stato anche quello poi che mi ha portato l'errore del Mugello l'infortunio della gamba sopra l'infortunio della spalla è, stato, è stata dura sinceramente non ci ho messo tanto a, a tornare anche perché non ho mai, mai pensato di smettere ecco. quindi dopo 40 giorni sono tornato, son tornato a correre con la grande soddisfazione di essere riuscito a tornare a vincere a Sepang una gara difficilissima però quella mi ha dato tanta, tanta voglia di, di continuare no? perché comunque tornare in moto, essere veloce è un conto, però ritornare a vincere vuol dire che comunque ce la puoi, ce la puoi fare. Sepang era stato il giorno in cui Lorenzo ha vinto il suo primo mondiale e quindi io ero riuscito a batterlo, battere lui dovistioso e alla fine con una, una bella gara, una bella rimonta, quindi era stata era stato una, una bella soddisfazione. Tra l'altro era la, stata la vittoria numero 46 con, con la Yamaha, no? quindi era stata anche una vittoria storica. Right, so here we go with this first historic event in today's episode. Now we've got to win a race and uh, on around this Malaysia circuit, slow it down into that first corner. Oh God, God, that's challenging. God, you start off at, uh, doing over 200 miles an hour. I'm gonna have to slow down a bit going into that corner. Now this Malaysia circuit is quite challenging, so we're gonna have to try and get used to it before we complete this challenge. Slow it down, and again, I failed. I think it's going to take me a few attempts to do this one in today's episode, but we've had a few which we have done a bit of raging on. Maybe it's going to be like that today. Right, let's slow it down a bit more. It just cuts in when you're just doing over 200 miles. And, oh, cocked it up again. Damn. Sort it out. Now, it does take you a while to get used to uh, breaking into these corners. Um, because obviously when you do races you qualify so you get used to it but just throwing you in at the deep end it takes a while and again i've cocked it up this is going to be a long day oh god i've got to sort it out i still haven't got past the first corner and i've been on it for about 20 minutes we've got to slow it down break 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 come on turn it in yes we've managed to slow it down but uh, that cost us a bit of speed now we've got um Davizioso behind us and Lorenzo is the person in front that we've got to chase down but it's not easy around this circuit it's not one of my uh, circuits that I find really really easy especially when you've got uh, a bike that's that far in front and there isn't many sections where you get a lot of slipstream either so we're gonna have to corner really well and I'm really went in too hot into that corner and I've slowed down a lot so it's gonna, I'm gonna struggle to gain a bit of pace now I didn't get tight enough there really struggling to turn it in now I find on these historic events because you don't get to adjust uh, the bikes you just got to use it as it is where it's on default settings it's really hard to uh, get the hang of it uh, straight away probably takes a couple of laps but um, I spent most of the first uh, 10 a go just trying to get around the first corner so it's cost me a bit of time but hopefully we will set up selling but uh, we're actually nowhere near him at the moment. Let's try and tuck into that corner, slow it down. That's a really tricky one. You've got to get right down to a slow speed and try not to over accelerate as well because the, on these bikes, they do tend to kick out quite a lot. Really struggling to turn in again and accelerate slowly. Don't come off. We've got, uh, got Davizioso quite close behind, but we don't seem to be gaining on Lorenzo here. We need to get closer to him. Oh, damn. There you go. I kicked out when I tried to accelerate. We're going to have to have another go. We really need to get a good entry into this corner to gain a bit of time on Lorenzo because that is what uh, is costing us in this challenge on this historic event because he's getting away and... Uh, oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, came on the bike there. Just over-accelerated, but we just managed to stay on the bike. Hopefully that won't cost us. Can we just generate a bit of pace around that corner? And looking at the time, oh, God, we haven't gained any more time. It's about the same as it was last time, right? Try and dip it into this corner a little bit better. Slow it down and slowly open the throttle. 
that was a bit better. Now we need to get a tighter line through here. We could gain a bit of time on him. Oh, that's much better. Just gently opening the uh, throttle there and flipping it over. Yes, we're slowly getting closer to him. And if we can just get a couple of good corners here, we might be able to get him on that slow corner coming up. Because he goes through there pretty slow. And that's a good line. Right, we're right behind him. We might be able to get him uh, on this corner if we take a good line. Now slow it down. Let's try and get a decent speed around there. See, he slows down there quite a lot. And he went on the grass. Oh, he's cocked up. Right, let's see if we can get past him here. Let's try and get a tighter line through here and try and knock him out. Let's try onto the apex, onto the curb. Yes, we've got in front of Lorenzo. Now we've just got to complete this uh, this circuit and take the result to complete this historic event. God, do really struggling to slow it down into that corner. Oh no, he's taking the lead, but I've managed to turn in again. But can I get onto the straight? No, he's taking the lead again. Right, we need to get in his slipstream and try and take him on the final corner if I can. But he's really got away there. That was really, that last corner was really, really bad. Right, this one's really, really challenging. Slow it down, slow it down. No, I don't think I'm going to get the pace either. Damn. Oh, damn. Oh, just can't do it. Oh, that's, that's a fail. But that's the closest we've been. We're going to have to have another go. But that wasn't bad. That was an improvement. Let's just try again. Right, so we're slowly getting the hang of this first corner now. But let's see if we can improve and get right behind him this time. Let's see if we can flip it over, accelerate. Oh, God, almost lost the back end as I used the back brake. I didn't really need to use the back brake there. Really struggling to accelerate around that corner. You do get a bit of uh, front wheel lifting up there, but uh, that's not too bad. Now, I haven't got uh, any better gap coming to that section. That's about the same. One second point two. Right, that was a really, really good entry into that corner there. That's going to improve us. Hopefully, we can get a nice tight line through here. And try and slowly accelerate before we flip it over to the right. Yes, now we can just generate a slightly bit more pace through these next two corners and hopefully get right behind him again into that slow corner. Hopefully he makes another error. He made an error on our last attempt, uh, went on the grass, and that really helped us. Let's see if he does that again. I'm not sure whether the AI make continuous mistakes, but uh, we will we'll have a look. No, is he going to make a mistake? No, I don't think he went on the grass that time, but we're still quite close behind him. Let's see if we can just gain a little bit more time on him through this section. No, we're not going to get uh, past him on that corner like we did last time. So we're going to have to take a chance going into the final corner. Let's try and get a nice line into there. Oh, God, he bumped on the curb. That's going to slow him down a bit. Right, that's get right behind him here. We need to try and get in front of him, try and slow it down. Turn it in. Can't turn the bike in. Accelerate. Oh, God, he's just tacked my back wheel there. But I just managed to stay on. Right, just one more corner. And we're going to complete this historic tour. Now, this has been a really, really tough one in today's episode. And let's see if we can finish it off. Slow it down. Turn it in. Oh, that wasn't a brilliant line. But, oh, my God. He's... Oh, don't. Ah, and again. Oh, just managed to stay on and accelerate. Are we going to do it? Oh, my God, guys. How close was that? I cannot believe that. But we managed to complete it. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please give it a thumbs up. We're going to do plenty more of these historic events. I think there's some really, really cracking ones coming up. And I've left you a full replay of that race because that was so close. See you later, guys.